tick tock, tick tock. Now I'm gonna end with this story that's gonna summarize what we've talked about today about success. So tick tock, tick tock. It's right before a championship game, and the coach takes his team to the locker room or the change room, and he says to them, guys. If you want to win this game, if you want to go out and bring that gold home, you guys have to want it. You guys have to dream for it. Have the passion, the will to go out and win. Number one, my brothers and sisters, you need to have the want, the desire. You need to yearn for your dreams. You need to have the want to make your dream become a reality. So number one, the wants. Tick, talk, tick, talk. It's time for the game to start. The team goes out and plays. Despite the injuries, despite the pain that comes in their way, despite the ref's bad calls, they still go out and play their hardest. Number two, my brothers and sisters, you need to put in work. You need to be able to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. This is what Eric Thomas says, motivational speaker. He says you need to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. That means that you need to be able to, you know, go through a minor pain to avoid a bigger pain. And so, in this example, the minor pain is that the team has to go out and play. They need to, you know, go through injuries, bad calls, whatever the minor pain may be, to avoid a bigger pain. And that bigger pain is losing. So number two, my brothers and sisters, is the fact that you need to put in work and be able to make sacrifices in order to become successful. Tick, talk, tick, talk. <clears throat> the game ends, and our team loses. Our team loses the game. Number three, my brothers and sisters, pain is temporary. It may last a minute, an hour, a week, or may even last a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something better will take its place. However, if I give up now, then pain is forever. This is another quote from Eric Thomas, or what he quotes from someone else. But the fact is that. Pain will come in your way. Allah says in the Quran, الصابرين. Who are they? الذين إذا Those who, when they are inflicted with a calamity, they say, "Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun." To Allah we belong, and to Him we return. So patience, my brothers and sisters. You need to be patient with the pain that comes in your way. So going back to the story, this team loses. And sure, losing the championship game is extremely painful. But they go back and they work even harder. They don't give up. They work even harder to come back next year and win the game. This, my brothers and sisters, is how a person can become successful. Now, I end on one note. Going back to the beginning, the first step that we said, having the want, having the desire to. You know, win the game or having desire to accomplish your goals. So the coach takes the team to the change room and talks to them and says, "You guys have to want to win." Now the reality, my brothers and sisters, in our lives is that we want to achieve goals. We want to make our dreams become a reality. But when we look at the story, if that team stayed in that change room and desired to win the game, you know, for the whole time. They're just dreaming to win, bro. I want to win the game, bro. I want to bring that gold home. They just had the desire. They kept dreaming to win, and they never went out and played. 
Could they win? No, obviously not. But my brothers and sisters, this is the reality. We have so many dreams and so many goals we want to accomplish, but we just sit at home expecting something to happen. And what's the beauty of the result of that story? If that team stayed in the change room, they would have lost by default. No, they'd have to forfeit because the team's not there. They don't show up to put in work. So my brothers and sisters, the three steps to become successful. Number one, you need to have the wants. Number two, you need to put in work. Go through the minor pain to avoid a bigger pain. And number three, you need to be patient with the pain and calamities that come in your way. And then if Allah wills, after all your hard work, you will become successful.